fourth, in which case we should have a drop. Uh, but you can't quite see what's happening out there. And if you look, um, the winds uh, are actually, well, I mean, it doesn't, well, I'll show you what I mean. Looking at the UK surf map, if I zoom in there, it tells a slightly different story. You know, it shows it. It basically shows the wind coming down here and going that way. And then it comes out here. Show you, then it comes out here and down that way. Yeah? It's very pretty clear, isn't it? And yet, when I go, oddly enough, to this map here, it looks totally different. But you can sort of kind of see, if you look up here, you can see all the arrows come down. And then they start curving up and around, for some reason, to go out that way. And the ones down here actually meet these big arrows here. These are the big arrows of size vault. Okay guys, I've uh, just got back in. Um, and I've been getting uh, uh, rises to 0.24 microsieverts per hour. Um, I've had four of those. The first one was basically uh, 15 minutes long. The other three, one of which is just uh, finished now, uh, was, um, let me see, it was, uh, I get distracted here with these peaks all the time. Um, <clears throat> so we had, um, what was it? Uh, Right, on the peak front, we've had uh, 0.54 microsieverts per hour, and uh, that was a quick peak. Uh, we've also had 0.42 microsieverts per hour a couple of times. We've also had uh, 0.37 micro, uh, 37 microsieverts per hour a couple of times, and 0.33 microsieverts per hour a few times. Um, and we're getting lots of peaks, every at least one every five minutes, if not if not quicker sometimes. And uh, the rises, uh, the, in an hour and a half's drive around southwest London, uh, as I say, I've got four slow rises to 0.24 microsieverts per hour. Uh, the first one 15 minutes, the other one's under five minutes. And, and in fact, actually, I'm, I'm wondering if they're getting a bit shorter every time. That last one only lasted maybe three minutes. So maybe this is uh, the forward, the, the first one I got was the forward wave of a, a wave front if you like, of, of fallout contamination. And the, the latter ones, because they're lessening, uh, they're, they're not as quick, are, are the, the waves that are following in behind. And we, we do see this on Geiger on monitors, radiation monitors, that sometimes these type of patterns occur. So it's pretty mucky this morning. And I was uh, the, the inside reading I had uh, when I woke up this morning was pretty good. <laughs> and I don't know whether to open the doors. But I'm going to anyway, because... Um, because you know but this that that kind of heavy uh, gamma bearing material, you know, to, it's just better to let it fly through, and uh, as opposed to let it linger in your your house. <laughs> Having said that, uh, I was getting a kind of an average of 0.14 outside. I'm getting a, an average of 0.12 inside, and it is possible that the reason that uh, last peak was slow is because I came inside. Um, I'm going to gaffer tape up the. Uh, no, I'm not really. <laughs> thinking about gaffer taping, embedding myself, but it's not that serious, and um, yeah, the people of Japan uh, have uh, basically had a lot worse, but this is uh, documenting uh, uh, EDF, uh, giving everybody in London a present, the, um, it's the Queen's Jubilee, isn't it? And uh, that's a bit disrespectful, but I would, I'm trying to slag off EDF. I don't want to slag off the French nation because they are wonderful people and they're pretty anti nuke as well, which I really like, you know, um, as you know. Okay, 0 0.14, 0 0.15. Ah, you can see it's all over the place anyway. And uh, I'm, if I cut this here long enough, it'll go back up to 0 0.24 again, no doubt. But I'll keep an eye on it and I'm going to stay inside because I know outside is quite bad. And um, I'm going to do an outside reading again. <clears throat> I'll probably go back out uh, lunchtime, and I'll do a similar a similar run, the same run actually, uh, to get you know to get a, a comparison. And I'll report on that as well. 
Right, and just to finish this little episode uh, today, on the 30th in the morning, I uh, went out. I've been getting uh, quite a lot of peaks, and uh, basically it's um, the highest one, 0.54. Um, getting a lot of rapid peaks uh, and rises to 0.24 microsieverts per hour. <coughs> so uh, it does look like the size well is, uh, is still is still spewing. And uh, then I'm going to go to the surf report just very quickly. Click on the map. Try this one now. Uh, uh, that'll do it. Ah, well that's interesting guys, winds from La Havre, according to this, this morning, hang on, oh. right, back to this one, right, let's just, like that back to Tuesday, 6 p.m. Ah, no, the winds were coming from uh, Sizewall this morning, and then uh, <coughs> 9 p.m. they changed. 12, they're going the other way apparently. Well, between 9 and 12, they've gone the other way. And just looking at it, Thursday, it looks like it's coming back. Well, no, definitely by Friday. By Friday, we're going to have uh, have it coming back again. This may be the last uh, bit from Sizewell that we get for a while. Uh, but obviously, if you're uh, living up the east coast of uh, UK, uh, it might be an issue. Uh, sort of uh, Newcastle and what have you. All right, well, look, take care.